Assalamu alaikum, hello boys and girls in the American Diploma Program everywhere in the world in grade 9. Well, in this video, I'm explaining this wonderful book, Grammar of Writing for grade 9, and today we will talk about lesson 8.5. In this lesson, we'll talk about the four different types of sentence structure. So, what does sentence structure mean? Sentence structure means how sentences are actually built. So, today's objectives are five actually five you need to know what a simple sentence is you need to know what a compound sentence is you need to know what a complex sentence is and what a compound complex sentence is so four types of sentences and the fifth one is you need to be able to identify them so the fifth one is you need to identify the four types of sentences that we will talk about in this lesson now let's start all sentences can be classified according to how they're built, their structure. You need to be able to think about the variety of sentence structures so that you can vary the sentences, your sentences, when you write a paragraph, recording for my students, a paragraph or a longer piece of writing. So this starts with the first one, and you should be able to identify a simple sentence. So what is a simple sentence? A simple sentence has only one clause and it is an independent clause. What does that mean? It means it has a subject, it has a verb, and it should not have a word at the beginning of it that makes it problematic as we studied before in lessons um, 8.2, 8.3, and 8.4. I'll go over real quick again when we talk about complex sentences. But again, a simple sentence has one independent clause and it has no subordinate conjunctions, nothing, no subordinate clauses, no dependent clauses, the same thing, subordinate, dependent, same thing, okay? Now, surprisingly, a simple sentence can be quite long. You might think that a simple sentence must be short. No, it, that, that's not really necessary. A simple sentence can be quite long. So let's take this one here. You may be surprised to find that a, a simple sentence can be quite long and complicated. A simple sentence may be so because it has a compound subject or maybe a compound verb or it has many different types of phrases, not clauses, okay? Phrases in it. So let's see this. Unlike many other languages, so this is a phrase here, as part of the sentence, which makes it extra long. The English alphabet has 26 letters to represent the sounds of its words. Now, here's the subject, here is the verb. You don't have any subordinate um, clauses here. So this is definitely a simple sentence, although it's quite long, as you can see. Right. Now, let's move on to the second type of sentence. And the second one is a compound sentence. Um, compound sentence has not only one independent class, but it has two independent classes, okay? And there are no subordinate classes. What does that mean? Let me tell you a secret here. A compound sentence must have one of these seven words. These are conjunctions that link two classes together and make the sentence a compound sentence. Those are the fanboys. I'm, I'm pretty sure that most of you know them, uh, you know, from your previous studies. So let me tell you what the fanboys are. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. Okay? Now, if you have any of these between two clauses, that means this sentence is a compound sentence. Let's take an example. Um, well, there is another way I should mention since it's here in the book. If you have a semicolon, this here, which is kind of a full stop in a comma underneath. If you have a semicolon, that makes it a compound sentence too. So, alphabet comes from alpha and beta, semicolon. These are the names of the first two letters in the Greek alphabet, okay? Alphabet, this is a class, comes. It's a subject, a verb, and then you have a semicolon here, and then you have a subject and a verb. So this is a compound sentence. Now we can drop these. We can drop this here, the semicolon, and we might be able to use one of these seven here. Um, now let's move on to a complex sentence. What is a complex sentence? 
A complex sentence is any of the things that we have been studying in lessons 8.2, 8.3, and 8.4. A complex sentence is a sentence that has a subordinate clause that is a, an adjective clause, an adverb clause, or a noun clause. So if you want to remember what those are, you need to go back to the previous videos that are recorded here. And um, yeah, so a complex sentence has one independent clause and at least one subordinate clause. So if you have a subordinate clause in a sentence and it is a, an adjective clause, an adverb clause, or a noun clause, then you have a complex sentence. Let's take an example. The Cyrillic alphabet, comma, now watch. Which is the writing system for Russia, or for Russians, comma, has 31 characters. Now this here, which is the writing system for Russian is a subordinate class, so the whole thing is a complex sentence. And many more examples will come when you do the, actually do the activities in this lesson. Okay, so so far we have talked about simple sentence, a compound sentence, in and a complex sentence. Now, last one is a compound complex sentence. So here, we will have two independent clauses to make a compound. But not only that, we will have a subordinate clause as well. Now it's called compound complex because it has actually a compound sentence and a complex sentence together. So let's take an example, Sequoia, comma, who lived from 1766 to 1843. Now you see this here is a subordinate clause, right? Now created a writing system but that's not only it. It's not a full stop here. There's another comma, and then you have one of the fanboys, and he taught it to other. So here you have this here, which is, which is a complex sentence, and then here, which makes it a complex sentence, and this here, which, which makes it a compound sentence. So here, the whole thing is one sentence, and it's called what? Compound complex sentence. Now, back to, um, let's go to the fifth, um, what you call it, fifth objective now. The fifth objective for this lesson is to be able to identify each one of them. A simple sentence, how can you identify it? It will have only one independent clause. So it will have one clause and it won't have any of the words that signal the beginning of an adjective clause, an adverb clause, or a noun clause. Okay? That, this is how you know that it's a simple sentence. Now, how about a compound sentence? How would you identify a compound sentence? A compound sentence will have a comma and one of the the fanboys, okay, uh, or it will have a semicolon between the two clauses, but there will be no problematic words, not none of the words that signal a an adjective clause, an noun clause, or an adverb clause, right? So you will have only the fanboys. You really, really need to remember the fanboys. And that those the fanboys and the semicolon, what makes a compound sentence a compound sentence? Now. The third one, how would you be able to identify a complex sentence? This is a little bit more difficult because you have so many signal words. You have the signal words that tell you um, an adjective clause is coming. You have the signal words for an adverb clause. You have the signal words for a noun clause. So if you find any of these in a sentence, right, then you know that you have a complex sentence. Here, we don't have any semicolons, really. If you have a semicolon, then you have a compound sentence. Now, the last one. Compound complex, well, you will have a mix of both. You will have a compound sentence and you will have a complex sentence all in one. So here, this is a complex sentence and this is a compound sentence. So uh, that's not bad. We're doing good with time for this video. Um, this here tells you about uh, where the word structure came from and it means to build in Latin. Uh, not really important for our lesson. Now, um, that's it for the explanation of the lesson. Um, and for those who are not interested in doing the exercises because they don't have to maybe uh, thank you very much for watching and bye now for those who are at school and want to know how to do these exercises please continue watching this is exercise 11 you need to be able to identify the sentence structure this is what i've just finished talking about talking about um, identify the sentence structures for these sentences one two three and so on in the paragraph below right now if you have a simple sentence on the blank before each numbered sentence like here 
you need to write S if you have a simple sentence. You need to write CD for compound sentences, CX for complex sentences, and CDCX for compound complex sentences. Let's take the first one. First sentence, mark it by one here, and then you have a space. Every language has different rules, and there are many different writing systems. So what is it? Simple, compound, complex, or compound, complex? Right? Think for a minute. You got it. That's right. Here, you have a comma, and you have the word and, which is one of the fanboys. Seven. Seven. Okay? So this is a compound sentence, and you need to write here in the space CD. Now, if you continue reading, you should be able to identify all of them using um, the explanation that I've just given you. Okay? Now, this is fun, really. This one is fun. Devising sentences. Now, you have simple sentences here, which make writing really, really tedious and childish. So expand each of the following simple sentences by making up interesting details. So it's okay to kind of lie here. Not really lying, but to expand the sentences. You need to make up details. On a separate piece of paper, identify the types of sentences that you will come up with. Not really these, but the ones that you will write. Write at least one example for each type of sentence structure. So you need a simple sentence, you need a compound sentence, you need a complex sentence, and you need a compound complex sentence. Uh, you have 10, so maybe a couple for each. Not really many simple sentences, but try to focus on um, compound complex and compound complex, right? Now, compare your answers uh, with a partner or maybe in a small group of three. Now, here's an example. Andy is in first grade. Andy is the name of a man in the Arab world and the name of a girl uh, in the Western world. Now, Andy is in first grade. Now, let's make up some details about Andy to make the sentence uh, more advanced. So. Although Andy is in first grade, comma, she's learning to speak French, English, and Korean. So what did we do here? You remember, although, a subordinating conjunction. So we made this sentence a complex sentence, and we gave more interest and details about Andy. Now, you will uh, talk more about her and her teacher and everything, okay? And that's it for this video. So let's go um, over what we have covered in this video real quick before I say goodbye to you. 15 minutes already. Um, we studied four types of sentences, simple, compound, complex, and compound complex. You should be able to identify each one of them, know what it is, and be able to identify it. And we talked about how to do exercises 11 and 12. Thank you very much for watching, and bye.